Hi, I'm Connie Sue. Let's applique. In this video, I want to share with you how I applique little berries. In a previous uh, video, I shared with you my secret for appliquing larger berries. Uh, in those situations, I trace, usually with a uh, actual plastic disc, the berry on the wrong side of the background fabric. I then do a little running stitch all the way around. And let's see if you can see it really well here. Let's get a little closer. There we go. Uh, I place the berry on the top. And then as I stitch it down, I am very careful to be sure that my stitches fall just on the outside of my red uh, guide. This is great for large berries, but the smaller the berry, the harder it is to trace, or excuse me, the harder it is to do a running stitch around your tracing. So um, I kind of have a little bit different method for small berries. I skip uh, the running stitch. So let's use a sample here. I have a berry. I prepared it with my own little method. I'm going to open it. It's got plastic in it at the moment. I'm going to open it up and take the plastic out. And then I'm going to gather it up again by pulling on the two threads. And then I'm actually, once I get it nice and round again, you can see it there, okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, knot that so that it doesn't open up. And then I'm going to go ahead and clip the threads. Okay. Now it's time to place it. Uh, I'm going to take and put some pins on each side of it. If this is a little berry, you probably can get along with just, oh, two or three pins. But for a slightly bigger one, you can put all four in. Then we'll flip to the right side, and you can see exactly where that berry needs to go, right in the center there. I'm Next, I'm going to take, and I am going to place a stitch right smack dab. This is a basting stitch. It's knotted. I'm going to put it right in the middle to hold this in place. I don't want it moving on me while I stitch it. There we go. That's probably just about enough. Let's get it back up to the top. And I am going to go ahead and put a knot there so it doesn't, doesn't slip. I want to be sure it stays right in the area that I want it to be in. Okay. Oopsie. There we go. We'll clip our thread. We'll go ahead and flip to the back side. And we're going to take out our pins for placement. And there we have it. We're ready to stitch it now. Let's get pretty close on this. I want you to see it up close. Okay. Okay, I guess that's about as close as it's going to get. And I'm going to specifically look for a spot that isn't absolutely perfect. And uh, if you can see here, maybe this white thread is in the road, it would be. There's a little bump right here. You see that? Okay. Now, in order to force this into the round as I'm sewing on it, I like to take, I'm going to start just a little bit ahead of that spot. Um, I am going to hold this a little differently. Normally, I would hold it like this and start stitching. But instead, I'm going to move my hand down and I'm going to hold it underneath. I'm going to take my thumbnail and push out. 
Can you see that? And that forces it into a round. I take and push that way with my thumbnail. I then can start in doing little tiny stitches. We work our way over to the spot that is out of round. At this point, I can actually take my needle and readjust it, being sure to keep pushing out, but I want to be sure to get rid of that little pokey. Keep it nice and round all the way. It just sort of fits around my thumbnail. And I go ahead and stitch right directly in the spot that was giving me the little pokey. Okay. Then pushing out again, I'm going to take bigger stitches than I normally do because I want you to see what is happening. And I want it done in a timely fashion so you don't have to sit here. Normally, I'm going to do lots and lots and lots of little teeny tiny stitches as I work my way around this berry. There are a couple ways, if it's difficult to do, and sometimes it is, sometimes it can be very difficult to do. When that happens, I take my time and I may put in bigger stitches and go back a second time, catching in between the first stitches. And that often works well also. Oopsie. And finally, let's get around here. I'm just about done. I'm going to push out with my thumbnail. Once again, I'm watching to be sure it's nice and smooth and round all the way around there. Hopefully, I haven't moved this out of your field of vision too often. Okay, and when we get all the way around, we can look at it. Now I have a spot here that isn't quite the way I want it. So normally, I'm not going to do it all, but I'm going to tell you what I would do. It would take a little while to do. Normally, I would go all the way around again and catch it right here. Another way of dealing with that is to go to the back and run a stitch over to where I want to come out. Okay. And then I've got a little spot I don't like. I'm going to go ahead and tuck that under. You may need to take a uh, toothpick or something and poke it under if you need to. And then come in and put a stitch right at that spot so that it can't get away from you and move in the future. It will be nailed down. There we go. There we have our little one. When we're done, we can go to the back and knot it. We can remove our basting threads. Oopsie, let me get this back in the center of the picture for you. And we have a nice round little berry not too bad. Just remember to use that thumbnail to push out and to be sure it's nice and round across the end. You can very quickly see if there's a pokey that you don't like and you can deal with it as you do it. This has been a video by Apple Blossom Quilts. I'm Connie Sue. Thank you for listening and happy appliqueing.